Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2023 Salem 29 BDB travel trailer. This is a two bedroom bath and a half travel trailer. This is actually a newer floor plan for the Salem lineup. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Salem 29 BDB model here. Now again, this is a new floor plan for the Salem lineup. We're gonna actually start in the front and then we'll kind of work our way back. Uh, I think you'll like the rear section, the cool little bunk room area for the kids. But let's start up here in the adult area. So right here we have hanging closet on each side, some overhead cabinet space and you have what they refer to as a camper king. It's 66 by 78 inches. So it is six inches wider than a real queen, but not as big as a house king. The bed will raise up. It can get you to the outside storage compartment, or you have little cubbies below, and there's also a little area below that to like put your shoes or something underneath of. There's a heat duct down there on the floor. You have a roof vent up here, TV hookups up here as well, AC duct coming out as well. The window over there does open. USB charger ports on each side as well. Now, just down inside of here, there's also electric outlet on each side. You can see a little cubby area there where you could maybe reach in there and grab something, unplug things or whatever, or maybe set a drink or something down. But you also have quite a bit of room here to kind of use as a nightstand as well. Over here, we have another little closet area. get situated here so we can see this a little better so you got a little shelf space up there hanging closet rod but a decent size little area right here the window over there also opens and then you have a sliding door for bedroom privacy now right here is going to be your main bathroom so you have foot flush toilet down below, step in shower, ABS tub surround, pull across door, skylight up above, and a little vent fan up there as well. Now the bathroom is a swing door. Squeeze ourselves in here. A decent amount of room in the shower here as well. And then there's a little cubby back here. Doesn't fully open there because you got the medicine cabinet in the way as well. But it gives you a little bit of extra space there. Window in the hallway there also opens. Digital thermostat for your main ducted AC and for your propane furnace. Now you can get these prepped for a second AC or put a second AC on as well. Um, so just kind of depending on how you want to order it, talk with your salesperson about that. But you can see right there the Coleman ducted AC. Now in the kitchen area right here, currently using the 10.7 cubic foot Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down below. They're using a matching Furion oven, which does have a light in it, glass front, three burner gas stove top. Um, also has a little flip down glass lid to give you some more counter space if you're not cooking. Some storage under your sink area, high rise sprayer faucet, double bowl sink, Furion hood range, light and fan built in there, and a Furion microwave. This area right here, it's probably, I'd say, close to, I don't know, five, six inches deep. This area over here, you're probably closer to a foot deep. Now, this customer also chose to uh, put on the Furion rear observation camera. 
This is a nice aftermarket feature, allowing you to see what's going on uh, behind the RV when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. Now here's a nice little feature. You got your entertainment area here. So we have an electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. There's a little bit of storage space down below where you could stash something. You have a Furion sound bar and a place here to mount a TV. Now this right here actually opens up and you have a lot of storage space back in behind here. There is a access panel down there also for maintenance stuff. Prepped for the King Wi-Fi setup, you have cable and satellite outlets and electric outlet here. Now over here we have the little lounge area and dinette area. So right now it's in dinette mode. So you have U-shaped dinette that will go down and make into a bed. There's also storage underneath of that as well. This can also be flipped around. This back right here can be flipped over to that side, giving you an L-shaped sofa here. Now the dinette again will make a bed, and then the sofa over here will make a bed. So you could actually sleep probably three or four people there pretty comfortably. And there's storage below your sofa as well. That has that uh, woven material on the slide floor, which they use on a lot of pontoon boats, so it's not actually carpet. Back here is kind of the kids' room. So you have two larger bunks, USB charger ports back here, window up, uh, up, does open on the top right there. And then you also have AC ducts back here, heat ducts back here. And then there's a little bit of space down below there as well. Sliding doors to kind of close this area off for privacy. There is some cabinet space over here. And then you got a little counter space here. They might try to use that maybe as a desk or something if you wanted to. More little cubby nooks down there. Sliding door to block off the half bath. And you got the foot flush toilet there. Sink area. There's a little bit of storage down below. Another medicine cabinet here. And a little sink area. But a pretty cool little setup, giving you a bath and a half in a kid's coach. All right, we are going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Salem 29BDB travel trailer here. So this one is a Platinum Edition version. So you have the hung fiberglass exterior sidewall and rear wall, and you have an aluminum skinned front rolled metal with some lower diamond plate. The black lower trim work around the bottom is also aluminum. But the base part of the RV is fiberglass, which is hung instead of laminated. So a little difference in construction. You have deep tent safety glass windows. The unit has a large pass-through storage compartment across the front section right here. There's a light in there as well. They even kind of make the back of the uh, baggage door here a dry erase board. Black on this side, white on the other, held up by a magnetic holder. The unit does have a heated enclosed underbelly and is also pre-prepped for the King Wi-Fi connection feature you can put on aftermarket. Large power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. You have adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, and you also have a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. It has a small 110 volt mini fridge and a nice little griddle here that you can cook out with. And just down below is the gas line hookup area to plug it in. You have a cold water spray port located right here. Two outdoor speakers, an electric outlet right here, 
and a cable outlet as well. So you could set you up a TV out here if you wanted. And then your gravity fill fresh water tank in case you need to take portable water with you fills up right here. And just down below right there is the actual pull handle to dump it. You have steel wheels, easy lube hubs, Just above your window there is a stove exhaust vent as well. Your entry door is a traditional RV entry door and screen door. This one does actually have a window in it where some don't. Triple entrance step here. This is the more ride step above step. It comes down, touches the ground. It's rated for about 500 pounds where a traditional hover style step is only rated for 300. So you do have a larger weight capacity here and it just flips right up inside the doorway when you're traveling. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. Six gallon gas and electric water heater located right here. On the back side here, this one was ordered with the optional spare tire. And yes, the spare tire is an option. You don't have to get it if you're taking it and parking it somewhere, uh, which a lot of people tend to do with some of these campers and leaving it permanently. You can opt out of that so you don't have to worry about it just sitting there rotting away. Four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people store their dump hose in there. It is prepped on the back of the RV at the top center there for a rear observation camera. Now this customer chose to go with one, so you're actually seeing one up there right below that light. That is a nice safety feature to add if you travel. Um, that right there is gonna allow you to see what's going on behind you when you're going down the road and also when you're backing into a campsite. Nice arch to the roof up there as well. The unit is prepped for the Lippert Stow and Go portable ladder. That's a telescoping ladder that you can attach up there and comes down. And then when you're done using it, you throw it in a compartment and it's out of the way. You don't have to worry about the kids climbing up there, horsing around, falling off and getting hurt. This one was ordered with the 50 amp electric service. So you're seeing a detachable 50 amp cord here. That's probably close to, I'd say 35 feet, 30 feet, somewhere right in that range. It's a pretty good size cord. Next to that is Water inlet and black tank flush, along with cable inlets as well. Now down below right here is your dump for your half bath. And you also have quick drop jacks on here as well. And while we're down here, we can see underneath there is an enclosed underbelly. Now this customer also chose to add on a slide out awning cover. It's a nice feature there that goes right on top of the RV and basically it rolls in and out with the slide room. So it slides into the existing gutter track and little brackets that go on the side of the slide there. But that right there helps shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris and stuff. So you don't have to worry about things getting rolled up inside there and damaging your slide seals. Just in front of the slide down here is going to be your main dump area. And this right here, you have your galley and gray tank dumps along with your other black tank dump as well. Now on this side of the camper, there is the solar charge controller up there. This customer also chose to do a surge protector as well. That's a nice feature to consider adding on. Now some important informational stickers are located on the driver's side corner here. So we have our tire size, ST22575R15D range tires with a 65 cold PSI air pressure. Very important to check your air pressure on your RV tires. Gross vehicle weight, 9,730 pounds. VIN number, production date, all that type of stuff located on that sticker. Now down here, we have our unloaded vehicle weight sticker, basically telling us the dry weight of the RV, 7,889 pounds with a length of 36 feet and nine inches.
You can see the front of it is pretty rolled back, so it's got a nice slope to it. It's not your traditional flat front RV. There's two 20 pound propane tanks on this particular one, but they do have an option for 230s. This customer chose to do 220s. Has power tongue jack, LED light strip built in uh, to the bottom part of that jack right there. And then you also have a manual override in that jack in case of an electronic failure. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug. There's room for one or two batteries to go back in here. And then you also have a battery disconnect down below as well. Lower diamond plate again across that front section. All right, now I wanna head back inside real quick. I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Salem 29 BDB. And I wanna show you what it looks like closed real quick. So when you are ready to close it up, you have to come right back here to your little control panel just inside the door and use your slide button. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and bring this in. Now it's very, very important before you bring this in or even really take it out, make sure nothing's in the way. So on the outside, you know, make sure there's no electric poles or water poles at the campsite that you're gonna run into. And on the inside, make sure your floor is clean. No rocks, pebbles, anything like that that would get trapped under the slide and rip your floor. The slide comes in at a little bit of an angle and basically comes right over top of your subfloor. So if there's pebbles or anything like that in the floor that could get trapped under there, it may happen. So sweep your floor. Now, if you need to let off the slide and go and check something outside or whatever, when you're going out, you know, just make sure you don't leave it in between, but you know, just kind of run out, check and finish taking it on the rest of the way out or bringing it in. Hear that ratchety noise. That means it's all the way in. It's got basically a slip worm gear that kind of operates the slide. It is 12 volt powered motor. But with it closed, I have full access to the back half bath and the bunk area and the kitchen area, but you cannot get to the main bathroom or the bedroom. So if you are just stopping at a grocery store or stopping at a rest area and need to come in here, you know, load stuff in the fridge or get things out of the fridge or whatever, maybe use the bathroom, you can do so, but you're not really getting to the front part you will have to bump out the slide to do that. And it just takes a few seconds to bump the slide out as well. You just do the opposite. You push the button the opposite direction and it goes right on back out. Now, please be sure to remember to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more of these videos. It really does help my channel out. Also, if you know anybody looking to save some money on a new RV, definitely tell them to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. Thanks again.